Hi, I'm Linda Guelfo and I'm an instructor at Willow Senior Net Learning Center in San Jose. Today I'm going to talk about three basic editing procedures, cut, copy, and paste. You may wonder how you would use these particular editing functions. Let's say that you have typed a speech that you're going to deliver at your Rotary Club or some organization, and you started with a profound quote. And at the end of the speech, you want to finish with that same quote. Would you retype that quote? No, you would not. What you would do is use the function of copy. So we're going to use a PowerPoint presentation now to have a look at those three functions, cut, copy, and paste. Okay, so let's look at three easy editing functions, cut, copy, and paste. What do we mean by cut? Well, it's pretty obvious. When you use the editing feature cut, uh, text, which is a word or words, is physically removed from one place in the document and moved to another place in the document or to another document. So it um, saves you having to delete and retype something. The next function is that of copy. And what we mean by copy is that when you use this feature, text is saved in a temporary storage and then copied to another place in the document. Thus it will appear twice in your one document or you can copy it to another document. Again, saving you time. The paste function is when you actually paste the text that you have saved in temporary storage from one place in the document to another place in the document and um, temporary storage is something that is in the computer and you don't need to worry about that right now. All right, how to cut. Well, first of all, before you do any cutting or copying, you must be able to select text. And there are various ways of selecting text. And when I show a document, I will show you two ways um, to select text. Secondly, you will use the menu bar at the top of the screen and you click on edit in the menu bar. Then you click on the word cut. Okay, to copy you do much the same thing. You're going to again select text. This is extremely important. Nothing will happen unless you do uh, the selecting of the text. Then again you click on edit on the menu bar and this time you will click on copy and a copy of the text is copied to temporary storage. Then you move the cursor to the place in the text where that copy is to appear. And then it's time to paste again and again you go to the menu bar and click on edit and this time you will click on paste and text is moved from temporary storage to the document. To demonstrate cut, copy, and paste, I'm going to use this document that someone has typed to invite a family to a big family reunion. There are many paragraphs because this is a multiple document. In fact, um, it is about a two-page document. But as the typist reads through the letter, she realizes that there is a paragraph that um, probably would best be used at the beginning of the document. And so we have to do that first step. We are going to select the text. And notice that I am just sliding my mouse across the paragraph. That's one way of selecting. Another way that I'll show you very quickly is simply to bring the cursor into the paragraph and triple click and that's a real quick way. Now I want to actually remove this paragraph so that I can place it somewhere else. So on the menu bar I will go to the edit function. I click on edit and as I read on the drop down menu I see the word cut and that's exactly what I want to do. So now I click on cut and whoa, that paragraph has suddenly disappeared. But fear not, for it has gone to a place called temporary storage. I'm going to make room for that paragraph 
up at the top of the document. So I come up and click in front of paragraph one and I simply double space, giving some room. Then I put my cursor right here and again I go to edit and paste is the selection that I want and there you have it. The paragraph has been moved from one place to the other and that is the function of cut. The second function that we talked about is copy. To illustrate copy, I'm using another small document and it does not have a title. And down here it says from Ricky Ticky Tavy by Rudyard Klip Kipling. And actually I want the title to say Ricky Ticky Tavy. So I am going to copy these three words and move them to the top of the document to use as my title. And so I will click in front of the first word that I want to copy and slide across to select the entire uh, three words. And this time when I go to the edit menu, I'm going to choose not cut, but rather copy. Now it looks like nothing has happened and indeed nothing will until I come to the top of the document and again I need some room so I'm going to click on my enter key twice to make room. Now I'm going to paste in the um, words Ricky Ticky Tavy to become a title. And so I'll come here again to the edit menu and I will find paste and I click on paste and there's my title. So I hope that uh, solves the mystery of cut, copy, and paste. I know it sounds like we're doing crafts, but really we're doing w editing in word processing. You may have noticed one more thing. I'd like to show you these three icons on the formatting toolbar. First you see a pair of scissors, and if I place my cursor on that icon, it says cut. If I slide over to what appears to be seeing double, I see these two pages and it's identified as copy. Then I see the clipboard and the clipboard represents that temporary storage and it says paste. So you may wonder why I did not use these shortcuts for cut, copy, and paste and the explanation is very simple. For the beginner, we always recommend that you use the edit menu because you have a little more control you're thinking a little bit longer about what you're doing and thus it's harder to make a mistake. Thank you very much.